Well, we're getting straight into it today with um, um, our out of town Knox star. I am so excited to surprise another viewer in their hometown. And today we're all the way in New York City. Yes. Helping us with our surprise is correspondent Crystal Young from Fox 5 New York. Hi, Crystal. Great to see you again. How is New York in the new year? You know, New York is always interesting. There is something going on around every corner. You just got to know where to look. And I am live at Grand Central, not station, but terminal. A lot of people call it station, but it's really Grand Central Terminal, and it's the largest train station in the world. It's a little I factoid for you. Love that. Awesome, Crystal. Tell us who we're surprising <laughs> today. So today we have a twofer, sisters Maria Safi and Doris Nicholas. They are born and raised in Brooklyn. They really, really love you. They've been loving you since before you were an EGOT, Jennifer. Uh -huh. Way back in those American uh -huh. Idol days, right? Uh-huh. That's the type of people yes. I love. And let me tell you, these yeah. ladies... These ladies, they love traveling, swimming, and long walks on the beach. Sounds a little romantic, right? Ooh, yes, but it they does. are big fans of yours. And Maria takes care of her mom, who's 80 every day. They watch her show. Never miss one. My type of people, I love that so much. Thank you, Crystal. I am super excited to meet them. You're welcome. I'll see you in a little later for a surprise, all right, for Maria and Doris. I can't wait to meet them. All right. Okie dokie. Before we get to New York, we have a visitor from a little further out of town, all the way from the UK. Our first guest today was a part of one of the most successful girl groups of all time. Now she's a judge on the new series, AGT Fantasy League. Please welcome the incredible Mel B. <laughs> For having me on this show. We're so happy to have you on the show. Thank you for being oh, here. Oh, Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah! Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, let's get into it. Yes. Everybody's excited that you're here. Let me just say that. Oh, I did get a bit nervous because as I was walking down the hallway, uh -huh. I saw everybody that you've had on the show. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> they're really famous and they're really famous. And I'm you're like, really famous. Oh. <laughs> you are too. <laughs> Well, thank you for having me. I'm so happy to meet you in person. I've been I a fan my whole life. Our paths have not crossed. Right? I don't know what, why. Right, it's interesting, because I feel like we, we've done similar things in a certain way, but we, we'll get into that yeah, part. Okay. okay, okay, tell me, this is all about you. Congrats, you received the biggest honor in Great Britain. So yeah. tell us what that honor was. So I received an MBE by MBE. the Queen. So I'm the member of the British... <laughs> <laughs> So you just walked up the hallway and said, oh my God, all these people are big stars. It's very few who's received an honor from the queen. I know, I know. I'm, well, I did, I did actually get quite emotional about it because I thought, you know, I was going to get an MBE for being part of Spice Girls and pop music and stuff like that. Um, but I got an MBE because I've been wor working really hard with my charity mm -hmm. called Women's Aid that brings awareness to domestic violence. Wow. So I've changed laws and I help like women that are fleeing that kind of relationship because I went through a 10 year terrible abusive marriage. And so my thing was, well, I'm gonna speak up about it. And domestic abuse is an epidemic. Yes. So I want to keep women and children safe, as safe as possible and, and make sure there's guidelines in place mm -hmm. so that when they do finally reach out for help, they've got somewhere safe to go. So that's that is a word word for. <laughs> that is. And your mother went with you, and I, I know she's yes. proud of you. Well, the funny thing is, because when you get an MBE, you don't, you, you don't know ahead of time that you're going to get it. Okay. So it's a chauffeur-driven black car with a man all suited and booted that hands you an envelope. So mm -hmm. I wasn't in at the time, so the envelope got handed to my mother. So it's very formal and very proper. And my mother called me, she went, what have you done? <laughs> I've got a letter that's very official from Buckingham Palace. What have you been up to? <laughs> And then I opened it, oh and goodness. I was so surprised and so happy. So I brought my mum along with me to That's get to such get, to a get beautiful my moment. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And my mother was so nervous. She was nervous. She was 
so nervous. She kept on going to the bathroom, checking her hair, <laughs> doing a lipstick. I'm like, mother, come on. <laughs> so my nerves just disappeared because I was I, I was literally looking after her the whole entire time. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, it's understandable. <laughs> that is a major achievement. Okay, and your kids, how do they feel? Do they do they think their mom is cool? Uh no, my no. son don't think I'm cool either. I, I mean, it. I've got a 12-year-old, a 16-year-old, and a 24-year-old. Oh. I mean, my 24-year-old thinks I'm kind of cool now because all my clothes have come back round in fashion. <laughs> yes, I mean, look at your mama. She looks fierce. So my, my oldest daughter, she goes into my wardrobes, and I, I, I see her stealing things, but I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So do they know their mom is a Spice Girl? I don't think they care that I'm a Spice Girl. <laughs> I mean, I was playing my music the other day before we went to go and see Hamilton. <laughs> and I was like, hey, kids, who, who do you think this is? And they were like, I don't know, is it Lady Gaga? I was like, no. <laughs> um, well, I don't, what kind of music is this, mummy? I was like, it's Spice Girls music that we wrote. <laughs> so we're like, really? Anyway. <laughs> As soon as they know his mom, it's just uncool. <laughs> but I think with their friends, I'm kind of cool. Yeah. Ish. Like, they all better know you. You know who your mama is? <laughs> better get into it. I mean, look at you, first of all. And then you... Oh, but look at you. Thank you. Look oh, my you. God. <laughs> like, you're, you're, the 90s fashion is like, it's just... I it's still it. fierce to this day. I love it. But I do think that I have always been stuck in the 90s. Okay. I don't think I've ever left it. No? Like, I like 90s <laughs> R&B, 90s pop music, 90s clothes, 90s everything. It was a great era, though. It was. You know Until I mean? you came along oh, and then goodness. you knocked it into a different like, level. Yeah. Up there. Yes, you did. But see, Milby, you got to... <laughs> Thank you. I mean, but you were inspiration. You know, I've always been a huge fan. And then, you know, I have that challenge as a mom, too. I be trying to be cool to my kid. But it seemed like that mommy thing just takes it all away, where oh, yeah. no matter what you didn't did, who you are. Exactly. The exactly. kids are like, OK, don't embarrass me. That's what I get. <laughs> yes. That's what I get. But yeah. this is amazing. You, you, the Spice Girls, your 30th anniversary. God, I can't... That's insane. See, when you say it like that, then I think I started when I was I was a Spice Girl at the age of 17. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling old right now. But wow. it is amazing that we've managed to kind of still stay friends. Yes. You know, it's been 30 years. And I think what, what you go through as a group, you did it by yourself, so it's uh -huh. kind of different. But uh -huh. as a group, like, you are ju just welded together for life. Yeah, you're like family, right? Because you've right? been through such a crazy experience. And made you know so I mean? much history together. So y'all gonna, like, have a, a reunion coming up? Oh, you see, I'm Are the you gonna announce ask. it? And... See, when you ask me that... We want a reunion. I am such... I'm such a blabbermouth. See, I they're get, worried about you telling it? I get told off all the time for announcing stuff that I'm not meant to announce. <laughs> uh... But, I mean, what I can say is we're definitely working on something together, Ooh. all five of us. Oh, my God. And by me just saying that, I'm probably going to get into trouble again. You didn't say too much. But we want to know, right? Oh, my goodness. That got me super excited. OK, OK. See, you got some good stuff, Mama. It's cool. Um, yeah. You got to interview one of my favorites, Prince. Oh, yeah. Please tell yeah. me about that. Well, I thought somebody was, like, pranking me because he actually called my phone People and said, hey, I want you to interview me. And I was like, yeah, right, who is this? No caller ID. Yeah. And on the caller ID. Yeah. <laughs> Did I, catch that? I was like, is this for real? Because it was just when he came out from wearing slaves, so uh -huh. he was actually willing to talk because yeah. he'd already gone through all the stuff with his record company. And I was like, well, this is going to be the first time you, we've everybody seen you talk. And why do you want me to interview you? What did he say? And he was like, well, I've seen you in your interviews. And I'm like, oh, dear Lord. <laughs> okay. And he goes, you're going to ask questions that people will genuinely want to know about. And I was like, OK, then. Still not believing it was actually real. And I was three months pregnant with Phoenix, who's uh -huh. now 24. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to dress up like what I think that Prince was going to like. So yeah. I had a long ponytail. Yes. you got to be dressed up like, Prince. Uh-huh. Um, uh, 
what do you call those things? Like a choker? Uh, no, a turtleneck dress oh, oh, to the turtleneck. floor. Okay. Yes. And I could barely walk in it. <laughs> I was like, yes. sat down, I was like, let me just take my shoes off. And we just hit it off. He oh was goodness. such a nice guy. Was he? God rest his soul, yes. I know, I miss him so much. Yeah, Prince will call you, honey. So <laughs> you know it, and you gotta make sure you got on the right heels, that's exactly. for sure. Exactly. But I got to spend like four days with him. I got to four hang days? out in his like room where he plays all his music and jams, and I got to eat. I think back then, vegan food had just come out. So yeah. he had all this vegan food. And I was like, it's not chicken. What's this chicken? <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. But I had, I had fun with him. I mean, he's, he's a legend. Of yes. The music that yes. he's done is just incredible. I could listen to Prince stories all day. He's like my yes. top two favorites. So thank you for sharing that with me. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, my goodness. You're welcome. <laughs> Will you stick around for a little bit? Yes. All okay. right. You know, we'll be, we'll be right back. We're back with the fabulous Mel B. That was hilarious. Tell everyone about AGT <laughs> Fantasy League. Oh my God, this show is so exciting because it's like 40 acts that the audience, that the world has chosen from all over the world and they've come together to do this show. And so you get to see everything, the best of the best that have won. Maybe they've won AGT in Japan or right. AGT in Switzerland. Ooh. And so they all come to, together to compete for the ultimate, ultimate AGT Fantasy League. That is so amazing. It's fun. I love it's a lot that. Of fun. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And then, what, what isn't funny is I have to sit next to the boss, Simon. I was going to ask because that's another <sighs> thing we have in common. You know, I'm used to Simon, and you work closely I with him. I love him, but he's so annoying. It's like that annoying brother that just keeps on talking and talking. It's like, oh, my God, Simon, shut up. I know you're my boss, but shut up. He's like a child. Do you remember the first time you met him? Oh, my God, yeah. What was that like? Well, it's, it was kind of weird. The first time we met him as Spice Girls, when I first met him, we were singing to him in, in a car park. Really? <laughs> we were singing a cappella because we'd heard that he's like the, you know, the he was best like that manager, guy. whatever, to have. So we bombarded him before he got in his car, sung a cappella to him, and he went, girl bands are never going to work. And then to this day, I still say to him, oh, girls, are never, girls bands are never going to work. Ah. Are they? And he's like, oh. <laughs> it worked, Simon. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that. See, I'm like, well, what was your history with Simon? Ooh, I've known him a long time. A long time? A long, long time, yeah. And I'm actually happy now that he's found his lady, yes. he's had a kid, he's mellowed a little bit, and then I, I still get to throw water on him when he really I love me. that. That's the part I love. <laughs> but I love Simon, too. He's awesome. He is he so is. awesome. That brings me to this. I have photos that I need more info All on. All right. What's this? Listen, we're going to call this T with Mel B. <sighs> oh, I like that. You like that? I like, you like that. that. OK, let's see the first one. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is Phoenix, my first child. Aww. And Nelson Mandela invited me over to South Africa to perform for him. And I, there was something very embarrassing that happened, actually. What happened? So I had a lace up top. And halfway through the performance, I was revealing a little bit more than I should have done. So then I had to carry on singing like that. <laughs> and that's why I have my daughter there hiding that bit, just in case it went like that again. <laughs> oh, we would have never known that. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> but it was an honor to be asked and an honor to meet Nelson Mandela. Oh, my so goodness. Lovely. You have yeah. some timeless people. OK, let's see the next one. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, Mel B, what you got? I mean, I just have no explanation <laughs> for this. Ah. I mean, I'm a grown lady at that point. Just you are? I wanting to be on Jay Leno's shoulders. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I just thought I want to be taller than everyone. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> You're up there, that's for sure. Who does that? You got to do some dope stuff <laughs> with some dope people. OK, let's see the next one. Oh. Is that Harry or William? That is, looks like Harry, isn't it? That's Prince Harry. Harry. Yes, that Who's is that Prince baby? Harry. Yes, yeah, so we used to meet the royals quite a lot, which was really exciting. Uh -huh. Like they'd say, do you want to come over for um, tea and sandwiches? And we'd go, yeah. <laughs> Just walk <laughs> Not through Not realizing the we'd have to be all prim and proper. So they'd get us a helicopter 
and we'd land on the grounds of Buckingham Palace. And then everything was very, you know, because it's British, it's, it's the palace. Um, we'd all sit there really trying to act proper with our tea. And then we'd go, oh, can we just go make some beans on toast or some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, please? So we used to have a right laugh with them. The right laugh, it was lovely. Yeah, you've done <laughs> some amazing things. Yeah. You're going on my wall, OK? Yes! Thank you so much for being here. Will you come back and see us? Yes, of course! Cool. Fantasy Leads airs Mondays at 8 p.m. and on NBC. And next day on Peacock, we'll be right back. We're back. Yes, we are. Oh, you know what that sound means? It's time for our knock star. Yes, it is. Here we go. Earlier in the show, we caught up with our friend Crystal Young at Fox 5 New York. She's at Grand Central Terminal waiting to surprise our knock stars, Maria and Doris. Crystal, you with us? I'm with you. OK, are you ready to surprise our knock stars? Let's do it. I was born ready. We're going inside. We can't okay. wait. Let's get All into right. it. We're going in to Grand Central Terminal. Terminal. That's right. We have a double door scenario double here, door. but we are How now we inside. Maria, and I am Doris. walking toward two women that okay. look a lot alike. I think they're our sisters, sisters, Maria and Doris. My I hope they people. are. Maria and Maria, Doris! Doris. <laughs> What are you saying? You look gorgeous in green. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Am I doing okay, ladies? I'm, I'm, I'm wow. going to cry. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy to see. Y'all okay. look alike. Y'all look like twins. They do look a lot alike. Are you twins? You're twins? No. You know, you really do. You really do. We don't need a DNA test. Okay. We got the right crew, Jennifer. We got the right crew. Okay. Well, well, I at least know y'all are New York natives, right? And, and y'all got some good bagels yeah. in New York. Can you tell me where I can get a good bagel from in New York? I have a Sam's Bagels on Fifth Avenue. I like their Ace Bear Bagels She the likes best. Sam's Bagels. I like but Diker right Bagels. Down, okay. And I like H&H, &H, so okay. you got lots of options, yes, Jennifer, I got the next options. time you come. I'm going to check all, all of that out. Okay. I'm going to be sure to check it out. Okay, yes. Crystal, can you tell them why we're here today? So Jennifer loves her viewers. She loves you guys, and she wants to give you a chance to get a little bit of money. So there is a challenge. Are you guys up for the challenge? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, 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 Maria please. Maria and Doris, you ready, ready to play? If you get this right, you can win $250. Okay? So listen close. What famous building did my man King Kong climb? Empire State Building! <laughs> you just won $250! Yes! Yay! Okay. Guess what? $250 is not enough. It's not you enough. Want more? It's, of, of course. Of course. <laughs> it's two of y'all, so I so need to see if you guys can question. double the money for another $250. Who sang the song New York, New York? I know you're going to win. Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra! You just won another $250, which is $500. Thank you, Crystal, and all of our friends over at Fox 5 New York. Congratulations, Maria and Doris. We'll be right back. At just 25 years old, our next guest went from selling plays out of his car to gaining millions of followers on social media and releasing his own cookbook. From North Carolina, please welcome Lorenzo Espada. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I got the right person here. You're going to teach me how you to do, cook yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, you like to eat? Yeah, man, don't we all like got, to eat? Y'all like to eat? There we go. Yes, sir. Okay, so tell me, you started selling plates out of your car? Yes, yes, out of my car, out the house. So I was 20 years old, me and my girlfriend, now my fiance. Aw, um, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. So we had our daughter and, um, you know, being young, I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta make something shake, you know what I mean? So I always had this passion for cooking, so I told all my friends, I said, look, give me $5, I'm gonna make these plates, y'all just post them on social media. Yeah, are you yes. surprised, like, how much has grown? How oh, yeah, yeah, because we went coming? from 
took like two years to get to like 10,000. I'm sorry, 4,000. We were from 4,000 to 10,000, 10,000 to 130 days, 100 to 500 in the next 30 days, and then it was history. So, and it's crazy because things happen so fast and people are like, wow, people think I'm just crazy, but they don't understand. It took a long it time to a get there. It was a grind to yeah, get to it. a long time. And a great vision. Yes, yes. Did you ever think your dream wouldn't come true? Nah, I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was always, you know, always determined, you know what I mean? I always kept the same drive, kept the same confidence, you know what I mean? And then it was just a matter of time for me, you know? I, I love that. A matter just of time, because I, I measure my success just by whatever I feel I'm successful at, you know what I mean? I, I agree with yeah, that. You know, they, yes. they may think this is successful, but, you know, Everybody me selling out them plates was successful at the time for me. Wow, so, I love that. I love that yeah. so much. Now, when did you decide you wanted to be a chef? When did you make that decision? When I was little. When, when I was probably like this tall, could just reach the counter, you know what I mean? My grandmother, she was always cooking, so I was like, yeah, can I, can I help? Then we made some meatballs my first time. I was going to ask you what was the first yeah, thing yeah. you cooked. I think, I think it was meatballs. Meatballs. Probably, probably was licking a spoon on some cake or something like that. <laughs> You know, but I mean, I always had the dream. I always liked to cook. You know, I used to fall asleep watching the Food Network. Um, you used, to, used to watch like, it was interesting to me because people could take so many different things and just make new food. Everybody has different taste buds, you know what I mean? So that's why I was like, man, I want to try to do that one day. Went to school and I was like, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Went to school for um, kinesiology, wanted to be a physical therapist, doctor, get that doctor money. And then... Right, look where I'm at now. You know what I mean? Yeah, my passion got to me. My daughter got to me. So decided to follow that 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 passion, that love I always had. Well, congratulations! You released your Thank first you. cookbook. Yes, yes, yes. I know your grandmama is proud of yes, you. Yes, yes. Got 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 some of her recipes in there. I was gonna uh, you know, ask that. see, the name is something out of nothing. That's something that um where that comes from is just growing up. My pops was always like. You can have a refrigerator full, you can have nothing in there, you know? Mm. But if you got a little can of tuna, you got some crackers, now you got a tuna salad, you know? So it was, let's make something out of nothing. So I kind of took that and ran with it and it stuck. Tell me about some of the recipes that's in your cookbook. So we got a little bit of everything. I got breakfast, appetizers, lunch, desserts, cocktails, you know what I mean? Some of the simple recipes, so it's beginner friendly. You don't have to worry about Okay. Uh, I need to be experienced, you know what I mean? That would be me. We got it step by step for you. Gonna really break it down for you. But yeah, I mean, honestly, you can name something right now. I bet I got a variation. It look like you got a, quite a few dishes over there. We ain't oh, gonna yeah. just sit and talk about it. I wanna see no, what I you don't... got over there. Let's, let's go you eat. gonna show me? Let's go eat. Come, Come on. on. Let's go eat. Feed, feed, let's go. feed. Come on. Watch the step now. Watch the show step. Me. Watch the step. I can't get over here quick yeah, yeah, enough. Yeah. So, as you can see, we got a little. We got some breakfast, you know, everybody yeah. loves breakfast, a yes. little brunch food. And then we got, we're gonna make an appetizer. Super Bowl is coming up, you know, you wanna please the crowd, we're gonna take care of that. Mm, okay, well I can't wait for you to show me what you got. It's looking real good. Let's do it, let's get okay. to it. Okay, you gonna show me when we come back? Come on. So I can get, be a good host and a good cook. Let's do it. We'll be right back. All and right. we're here with our chef inspiring us, Lorenzo. Yes. Yes. Okay, his cookbook is called Something Out of Nothing. Something okay, Lorenzo, nothing. show us how to make All something right. out of nothing. Let's get into it. So what today, we doing first? we're going to make a sweet potato stuffed French toast. You like sweet potato? I love like, a sweet potato. You like sweet potato pie? Yes. So imagine a, a breakfast version. My grandma you can, used to make it. Okay. You can eat sweet potato pie for breakfast, but we ain't going to do it today. So. Real quick, we, we, got our, we got our filling already made. It's a little brown sugar, cinnamon, you know, mm. good stuff, all right? So that's what we're gonna use to pipe the French toast. So go ahead and grab, uh -oh. grab your bag. Put me to work. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're we gonna, we gonna, we gonna make something good today. Okay. So grab, grab your do? slice of toast, and now it's gonna be a little slit at the top. So like, go ahead and uh, just, just follow me, follow me. Here we go, oh. just like that. I think it's on that side. On this there side? you go, there you go. Oh, I see where we go right. with this. So go ahead and open, open that just up. a little bit. Be careful now. Oops. And then. Kind of follow me Rizzo. right there. Squeeze you got a true it, beginner right it. here, baby. Something like that. Well, hey, mine oh, is a little Don't it, worry about you, that. You take mine. You take okay, mine. Okay, I got you. You take mine. Yeah, you I take told it. you I was a <laughs> beginner. You, you take mine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do that one. Okay. Okay. Just like that. We good, okay? Okay. Now you got the sweet potato filling, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to set that to the side. Okay. Now we're going to make the custard. You got to have, you know, something to dip that, dip that French toast in. 
Ah, All you right. call it the custard? Yeah, the custard, the milk, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm talking about. How do we make that? Okay, so we got eggs right here. Now, real quick, show me how you crack an egg. You know how to crack an egg? Oh, why you want to do me like that? Yeah, come on, let's, let's grab an egg. Come on, come on, you, you got child. it. Woo, right. okay. Now, let's try to crack it with one hand. One hand, let me see you do it first. Wait, let me, now you do it first. You want me to do it first? So I, I, I could teach you a new trick if you don't okay, get it I right. Okay, I crack it right here. Try well, but well, what if my shit... If I wasn't here, then what okay. would you do? You said with one hand? Yeah, would you... Now, how do you that? use two if you want. Okay, I think I got it. All right. But other way, other way, other way. The other way. Other way. And then... Hey, there you go. There you go. She did it, right? Okay. All right, so now, okay. now, now I'm gonna take mine, right? And I'm gonna Put go like this. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, all right. That's cool. what you mean by one hand. Yeah, one hand. So now go ahead and pass me that heavy cream right there. This right here? Yeah. That's the cream. Go ahead, throw that in there. You want me to pour it in there? Yeah, pour, All pour, of it? pour the whole thing in okay. there. Okay. There we go. And this is making a custard? Yeah, that, that's going to give us that nice, you know. I need every tip for the beginners. Yep. What there you we got, go. baby? There we go. Now grab me that. This right yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, that. Okay. That's the secret ingredient. It's a little hazelnut syrup. That's going to bring bring the flavor. Ooh, that right? smells good. Uh huh. We're going to oh add that God. in there. I'm going to add some of the seasoning. Is it seasoning, spices, a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg? Is your daughter a good cook? Uh, no, but she likes to eat and make a mess. <laughs> so, if that counts, then we're gonna add a little vanilla in there, all right? A little vanilla. Now, I want you to do the honors. Oh. Go ahead and mix that up. Okay. okay well, work now, your wrist a little bit. Work my wrist a little yeah. bit. There you go. Am I working the yeah. wrist? You working it, you working it. You need a little, a little more flick. A little more flick will work. A little more flick. Yeah. See, my son, uh-oh. Uh -oh. He put mama right about the kitchen. She'd be like, mama, go sit down. I'll do it. Yeah, we got, I, I think Wait, we're going, what about yeah, my yeah, egg? Yeah, I still yeah, see got, it. So I got to get yeah, the egg. Yeah, press it, yeah, press it. Yeah. We're going to be here all night. Yeah. Waiting on go. me. We're going to call that good. All right, so now we got our pan nice and hot. Go ahead, go ahead and drop that butter on the pan for me. Drop the butter on right the there, pan. Right there, yeah, yeah. Drop, so drop this that. pan right here? Yeah, drop that butter on I'm going to just put it here. Uh-oh, wait, uh -oh. hold on. There you go. Hold on. I'm going to figure there it out. Go. Bam. Yeah, spread, spread it around a little Ooh, bit. Ooh, child. I'm like right. really, really cooking, okay. y'all. There you go. Ooh, child. Ooh. There she go. Yeah. You ain't want none, right. bitch. <laughs> you got me looking like I'm so, doing something. So now this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the bread. You don't want to get it soggy, so dip it just a little bit, right? That looks so good already. Just, just a little bit of the custard on there, right? Both sides. Mm. And we're gonna throw that on there. Mm -hmm. All right. Come yeah. on. That's that, that's that nice little brown butter. Come here. And then, yes. and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's how you finish it. So we already got something done. So we're gonna go ahead and let that finish cooking and go hey. ahead and taste this. We're gonna hit a little caramel drizzle on there. All right. That is amazing. Don't that look good, y'all? There we go. Oh my God. All right. Oh, cool. Let me get you a little piece. Oh, I get a piece. There you go. Oh, there you go. There my you go. Goodness. Give me a little piece. Uh oh, you ain't even waiting for me. Good, I, I wasn't waiting on you. Okay. <laughs> this is so there we good. Go. All right, now we got that. Let's get into the appetizer. Come on. How long did it take you to perfect the recipe, though? To perfect it, it take a little minute. It's a little, a little trial and error. You need a little napkin. Yeah, just a little. You got a little something bit. on your hands. Yeah. There you go. And then who do you have try your food out at home? Do you, your daughter try it out, your, your fiance? My fiance is, that's my critic, that's my taste That's tester. your critic. You know what I'm saying? She don't let me know if it's good or if it's not good. Okay. And I, I do get some of my recipes from her, so oh. I gotta give her her credit, you know what I mean? Okay. Shout, out, shout out to the nice. fiance, right? Okay, so what we got here, we got a Southwest chicken dip. It's like, like a taco and an egg roll. I so, love a taco. So we're gonna do like a deconstructed version of dip, okay? Okay. So we got the rotisserie chicken, and a little pro tip, if you cook, you know, if you don't like to cook, get a rotisserie, it's gonna make your life easier. See, it's okay? not that I don't like just, you. I just, just shred it. Out. All right, so we're gonna add that in there. Now go ahead and just start dumping these ingredients for me, okay? Jump, which is the ingredients? We're ingredient? gonna boom, boom, so boom. So this is an ingredient? So we got the corn. So put all of it in there? All of it in there. Bam, I got add you. That. Add that. Add them tomatoes in there for me. I'm a good assistant cook. Yeah. Do I use this? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Some that cream cheese in there for me. I'm gonna add like the I'm, black beans. I'm doing some. Ooh, that look good yeah. already. Yeah, I see. So all of this cream going in here? Yeah, go ahead and all that in there. I'm yep. gonna have something to make this season. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna add that garlic paste in there. Okay. That's full. We got we got a lot of flavor in here already. Right? Already. But we gotta take it up a notch with the seasoning. You like seasoning? I love some seasoning. You like some adobo? You, you know what? Hey, hey, you know what I call it? I call it all purpose. We, we take it everywhere we go. We go. You know, I, I'm Puerto Rican. I, told, I said earlier, so we got the sazon. I had a sazon in there, a little mm, adobo. That sounds good. You like spicy? I love some, right. some spice. We're gonna throw this cayenne in there. Come on, give me all of that. A little bit of that cayenne. We're gonna throw these. These green chilies in there. That's so good. All right. Y'all don't. Th Add that. Look. Throw all the seasoning. All in there. of it. All the seasoning in there. All right. And now I I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. 
All right? Yeah. You know, remember I was saying, you got to work your wrist, all right? Work the wrist. Work the wrist a little bit. You like jalapenos? I love anything uh, spicy. Throw some of them jalapenos. I want all of them. them. You like, the, you right like the pickle or the regular? The pickle. The pickle. No, all right, keep throw, them. Throw, leave some for the, yeah, man, throw Just them all a little in. bit? Throw them all in Just there. all of them? Throw them all in there. Okay. All right. Now, we all know everything tastes better in a cast iron skillet, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. you know, it's just, it's all the, the generations passed down. See, so I'm gonna let you do the honor. Go ahead and add that in there. I think, I think I got it mixed up good enough for us. Go ahead and add that in there Okay, for so me. I'm gonna put this in yeah, here. Yeah, pour all that into the, into the All skillet. of it? Yeah. Okay. You need a little help? I got you it. You got it? All right. I got it. There we go. Am I in there yet? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I got there it. There we go, there we go. Wait, I got a little, hold on. You, I got a little you. bit more. There we go. I think that's enough. That's okay. enough right there. We all want right. all of it. Now I'm going to smooth it out. All right. You really got me think I'm doing something. Nah, you got it. <laughs> Let me learn you something real quick. You all right? are learning me something. Now go ahead. Let me see. Okay. Add some of that. Can I taste it yet? Yeah. Because I want to know Let's what the final it. product is. We're going to melt that. Don't that look good? Let me, go ahead. Let, me, let, me get, let me go ahead and grab the, the final product Man, this look from good. my oven under here, y'all. Okay. Look at this. Ooh, oh, baby. There we go. I'm gonna Look. throw this in the oven. What is my fork? All right. Hey, that's, that's, that's a little way for me to wipe your hands yes, off yes. right there. And then I'm gonna garnish it. We're gonna use the wonton chips, y'all. Wonton So again, chips. instead of, it's a deconstructed egg roll. You go ahead and grab one of those. I'm gonna garnish it with a little okay. green onion, y'all. Garnish it with a little green. Yeah. Oh, man, y'all gonna want some of I'm this. Grab me a chip. Ooh, chai. Let's dig in. Y'all ain't want none, did you? There you go. Oh, how get oh, in man. there? It's get, breaking get, up on me. Get the edges. Oh, I'm going to uh -oh. get the edges. There oh, go. I got mine. Listen, there we go. you know what? Thank you so much, Lorenzo. I'm going to chew and read this. Lorenzo's cookbook, Something Out of Nothing, is available now. And for these recipes, go to our website. I'm keeping this. Oh, my God. You look right good. We'll, oh, we'll be right back. I told you I was going to eat and talk about it. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.